Everyone and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! I am Zookeeper Siri and we are here in my beautiful garden for a fantastic reason! We're going to the plant sorting shed- that's right Sunflower! We are going to the plant sorting shed to gather up some flowers! One of my favorite things to do, rolling around in plants. I just love all the plants, I love my garden! Oh, I can't believe- you know, today is also going to be a Zoo Kitchen day! So we're going to be having a Zoo Kitchen side quest later and I think it may be time to start swapping out some of my precious summer plants for autumn and fall gardens because oh my goodness i can't believe how quick the month is going by we're going to be having so much work to do around the place sunflower oh my good girl oh she's so pretty she's so pretty but we have so much work to do and we have been working really hard on the white-tailed deer exhibit and making fantastic progress but we need to make a little bit more progress so i flew up here on sunflower the girls are still down there uh enjoying their little picnic with pine and devon but we are up here because we need to look and try to find some for some um forest plants actually because we're trying hey i heard i heard our little um june i heard june make a little bit of noise hey june or enderman i need to learn how to speak in speak indernese there we go can't even speak english today oh my goodness but let's see what we are looking for is hopefully a few foresty plants like more clover patches um, oh, there's a lot of leaf piles. I'm gonna borrow those real quickly, but we need to try to find lots of forest uh, foliage like the wheat grass actually might be a good idea to add in there Maybe a little bit of damp grass. I'll grab those because we need lots of various Plants for the white-tailed deer to be able to eat on. Oh, here we go. This is more like it This is what I'm talking about White-tailed deer have fantastic diets and they really have like a broad spectrum of foods that they eat That is one of the reasons that they are so successful as a species in North America um, so much a little bit of Neely Angelica, maybe. I better just bring all of them. Uh, maybe some dotted blazing stars up along the back. That would be fantastic. I guess my rule of thumb is if it looks pretty, the white-tailed deer will probably eat it because they've proven that again and again and again in gardens throughout the world. Oh my goodness. Uh, let's see. But it does need to be... Australian bush, maybe not. Oh, maybe some of these. I like these solos. They look like they would be a good mix. Ooh, some Nymphsias. Some native Nymphsias might be good. Ooh, look at this. The little, the beacon Achillea. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, and there's some bluebells down here. Let's see, maybe some thistles. Bluebells are so pretty. Do we have, ooh, maybe some white uh, anemones? Anemones? Um, ooh. There's lots and lots of blue hydrangeas, but it might be nice to have some of these white hydrangeas to kind of offset them. Ooh, look at the Miss Belgium hydrangea. I didn't know they came in pink. Are you kidding me? I need to organize this stuff. Ooh, in the summer hydrangea. <gasps> oh, I'm going to have to save a few of these, like, and propagate them. I really need to build some greenhouses and just propagate these plants over and over again. Oh, look, it's the torch ginger. Oh my goodness, that's the plant that we need to propagate a few times for um, Bella, because Bella needs to collect some of the healing plants from around the world. And the torch ginger can be turned into two torch ginger flowers. Oh my gosh, we could have like a little medicinal area that we could propagate these plants in and grow medicinal flowers. That would be so exciting, you guys. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love plants. I love flowers. I love lilies. I love all of it. Northern bed straw. Oh, and here I was thinking we were going to have a hard time finishing up that exhibit. Broadleaf meadow sweet. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, and I can't believe it. fairy slippers. There you go. We've got a nice little theme going on with the colors here now. Uh, anything else? I mean, there's even delphiniums that we could put up in the background. Why was I even worried about the deer having enough? I'll even bring some violets. I don't even know why I was worried about the deer having enough plants because there's clearly plenty and plenty of plants for the plenty and plenty of deer that we have. Oh yeah, and the poison ivy and the dwarf elder we need to give to Bella because she is going to analyze the compounds in the poisonous plants so that hopefully she can turn them into some sort of useful chemical because a lot of things are poisonous in small doses. Oh, okay, hang on. Oh yeah, hello, pet, pet. Iris, hello puppy. Tate, I love you. Mwah. Okay, let's see. All right, gotta go by and check on all the dogs really quickly. 
There's Ash. Who's a good boy, Ash? There's Zozo. Who's a good boy? Oh, Holly, you're way over here. I need to put you back in the, in the uh, chicken coop so you can sit with your chickens. Except, well, I do have a snail. Maybe if I put the snail really far away from the water, I can have a snail for a long time instead of have a snail for a few minutes. So I'm going to put the snail way over here, but not in the chicken coop so the chickens don't eat it. And we'll see if we can end up with a snail. I wonder where Lily is. I need to see. Maybe she's wandered off somewhere. Holly, come this way. Um, Alia, Iris. I know Pine is down with us. I'll find Lily. She's probably just wandered off into a corner somewhere. All right. And we actually need to put in Holly. There you go. And you go ahead and wander around, darling. You should have. Yeah, you've got plenty of food in here. Please pick up the eggs. I rely on you for all of those amazing eggs. There we go. But yeah, we have plenty of plants now, Sunflower. So let's head on down and we are going to get back to work. Oh, not feeling like flying today, are we, Sunflower? Okay, we can we can we can go at an easier pace. Do you wanna walk? Are you a little tired? Are we just taking it easy? Are you distracted by all the beautiful forest birds singing? Um okay, let's try again. There we go. This is a little bit more like it. There. All right, well, we've got plenty of plants to finish up our white-tailed deer exhibit today. I'm so excited. And then we can add in all the deer. Oh, good. And the girls look like they're still having a great time at their little picnic here. Oh, actually, I think I'm going to just go ahead. Ooh, I snacked on the entire sub. Oh, it was delicious. So now we just have dessert to enjoy. Pine, how are you doing? Devin, doing good? Good, good. And I've got plenty and plenty of plants to start sprinkling around everywhere. So let's go. Oh, there's Darling! Darling, what are you doing down here? Oh yeah, and you guys, look, I have worked really hard at expanding the pathways, which actually really is easy to do because this is just literally chiseled dirt. So you literally dig the dirt up and chisel it, and voila, you've got a pathway, a glorious temperate forest pathway. I put up some signs, so now you know, like, okay, red wolf exhibit, you're gonna see some red wolves, a white-tailed deer exhibit, you will eventually see some white-tailed deer. Oh yeah, and I replanted the tree in the middle using the three cobblestone trick. So you put down three cobblestone next to the oak sapling and then like pummel that oak sapling with bone meal until you think it's never going to work and all of a sudden poof you get a big beautiful tree which is fantastic ladies take note bluebell big beautiful tree plus bone meal plus three cobblestone makes big beautiful tree all right let's see and i also expanded the path up here a little bit hey redwood hey buddy do i have anything for you to chew on I don't right now. He's he's kind of a little bit domesticated against my my best wishes. Um, but yeah, and I put down more mushrooms throughout the area to kind of help light the area up. It works great at night because we are getting very very few mobs now. Um, oh, thank you, Redwood. Hi, buddy. But oh oh oh, and then um, over here is going to be a little outpost. So I want to know what you guys think about this. I'm trying to make a lookout. So it's going to have like a ladder, and it's going to be really tall. And then you can like look out and I want to be able to see the top of the Red Wolf Hill pretty easily. And I want to be able to look out over the like white-tailed deer, kind of see down the path, see up the path, which means I'm going to probably have to move this tree, but not this beautiful tree that Darling is standing under. So let's go see what my darling, what are you holding, Darling? <gasps> oh, what's that? It kind of looks like a little bird feeder. Oh, there you are, Siri. How are you today? Darling, I'm great. What are you doing here? Ah, well, I know how much you like the little birds, so I got you a surprise. You told me about the American goldfinch you saw yesterday, so I went and made a bird feeder and some bird houses to try to attract it to stay in the area. Wouldn't that be fun to be able to see them flying around our home? Oh my goodness, that would be so much fun! So putting up some feeders and some bird houses, and I want to see if we can keep the little finch in the area because it's just so cute. That would be amazing, darling. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, that's so like him. He knows how much I love the little animals. All right. Well, I thought you would like it. Want me to help you hang up the birdhouse and the feeder? I figured this was a good tree to try them out on. It's huge, so I'm sure the birds will like it. Ah, oh, yes, darling. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's hang them up. Ah, look 
at them. Look at them. I really think that looks fantastic. Look at that little bird feeder. It is just stuffed full of all sorts of delicious sunflower seeds that the little finches should enjoy. I'm so excited. So apparently if you want to attract the American goldfinch to your yard, you want to put lots of sunflower seeds into your feeders. You want to be able to put lots and lots of uh, little thistles out in the ground so they grow and the milk thistle apparently attracts the birds quite well. Oops, I fell down a little hole. There we go. And the little bird houses are so cute. Look at them. Little tiny bird houses to try to get them to come in and nest. And we've got some more. So I've got five more little bird houses. I can sprinkle them around the temperate forest area. Darling, thank you so much. Oh, what's that you've got? There we go. Hopefully that will attract the little finches so they stay in the area. Thank you so much, darling. I can't wait to see the birds. It's going to be so exciting. You're welcome. You're so busy all the time and work so hard, so I figured I could help you out with this. You really should hire more staff to help with things like this, you know? You don't have to work so hard. Um, I can't help it. I'm a workaholic. There's so much to do. Or, uh, well, you know how I like keeping busy. Well, I am a workaholic, but he doesn't like it when I mention that because it, I, I it probably take it way too far. I probably do. Or, uh, well, you know how I like keeping busy, but I'll look for stuff. Um, something, something. Uh, yeah, that sounds like me kind of muttering off like, eh, maybe I'll look for stuff, maybe I won't. And staff? Why worry about that when I could just have you do the work? Mm, no, that's mean. Okay, yeah, well, yeah, sure. Mutter, 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 mumble, mumble. I'm sure I'll look for staff, darling. Don't you worry. Well, you say that, but I know how it makes you feel to be behind on your projects. Still, I trust you to do what is best for yourself and the zoo. I know you've got to get back to work, so I'm going to rest under the tree and read for a while. I also brought some binoculars, just in case. I'll let you know if I see any birds. Oh, so that's what those are! They're little binoculars! <gasps> Darling, that was so smart! Oh, If you see the little finches, let me know. I really hope they come over here. I love this little bird feeder. We should put some up over at our house. What do you think, darling? Oh, that's so fun. But thank you! Okay. Alright, I'm gonna get back to work now. Oh, because that's so exciting. So there's another fun little project done. And now we can come down. And how is our deer exhibit doing? Look at this! Holy moly days! We've already got so many of the leafy plants spreading around. I better actually pick up a few of these. I mean, oh my gosh, and the mushrooms are spreading. They are not wasting any time. I might regret having put in so many leafy gardens in the future. But we'll just go ahead and remove some of them for now. Oh, and we've got the little birdhouses. I'm just going to go ahead and tuck a few birdhouses around this exhibit. Including over here on the island. This little island. Oh, I love this new big tree. I'm so happy. Uh, yep, yep, getting wet. That sounds like climbing into the water and soaking my, my khakis and all sorts of like... Who knows, at least they don't look like there's any leeches in this water, but that's okay. That's okay. And actually, you guys have been suggesting adding some fish into the area. So we really might start putting a few little fishies down into this pond uh, if we happen to catch any of the small fish. I don't think the deer would bother them. I wish we could have like, oh, maybe we had a turtle. But I think that do the turtles drown in the water? I'm not sure. We'll think about it. We'll figure it out. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and put one more bird feeder over here. And then we'll save the other ones for sprinkling around elsewhere. And let's go ahead and we're going to start just getting kind of wild. Yeah, getting wild. Rawr! Throwing plants around. What a wild life we live. But yeah, just kind of putting the plants down all over the place. Um, let's see, probably if Meadow Sweet goes right there. Where's some more? Let's get some of the tall plants, too. I want some of the kneeling angelicas. Um, maybe a few fairy slippers. Some northern bed straw. And we're just going to go kind of kind of hog wild or buck wild if we wanted to make a bit of a deer joke ha 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 <laughs> oh that got a reaction out of both the girls that's hilarious um but yeah so we're just kind of going to go around and sprinkle the plants down i want some of the bigger plants right now maybe put some damp grass up along the edge of this little yeah there you go yeah put some damp grass up along the edge of the little river or the little embankment I don't know if we need any reeds or cattails, really. I don't know if they would try to eat the cattails. And even though they have, like, really hardy stomachs that could eat pretty much anything, I just don't know if um, eating cattails is good for deer. <laughs> Maybe it is. I mean, people can eat cattails. We've talked about that before. You can actually turn cattails, like, into a little flower and make, like, little cattail cakes and things like that. So fun, fun survival facts. All right, let's see. Some more Neely Angelica. We really need to add some more stuff back here. What else do I have? 
that could well maybe some of these uh ooh, maybe some of the dated dated the dotted blazing stars oh that's so fun look at that oh that's so much fun and then maybe some of the northern bed straw just kind of down like this and maybe one right there and maybe one of the annabelle hydrangeas are you gonna propagate for me are you gonna propagate for me they take forever to propagate um maybe they really do better if you let them try to like grow before you start smashing them apart and trying to get more seeds from them um maybe another dotted blazing star over here oh kneeling angelica there we go there we go little northern bed straw the northern bed straws i really need to propagate as well the ground cover low-lying plants work out so well when we start sprinkling them all around uh all around the park the white anemones um is it, that's probably not how you pronounce that either, but I can't help it because it's just, it's like it's an enemy! Yay! Alright. Some fairy slippers. Put some fairy slippers back here. Uh, maybe, ooh, let's add some bluebells right over back into the water right here. And some of these guys right there. Oh, that looks so nice. And then maybe a little, ooh, clovers. Let's put clovers down. Some little clovers right there. Alright, now we're really getting somewhere. Some of these little guys. Come here. I'm going to actually scooch you right there. Oh, look at that. It's coming together so quickly. So quickly. And I can actually pick up these berry bushes. Oh, I just replanted the berry bush with the berry bush. That's hilarious. All right. Put those away. And maybe put the little hydrangea right there. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, maybe a fairy slipper. There we go. And a fairy slipper over here. Fairy slippers for the deer. All right. And anything else? Did I bring anything else? Well, see, we've also got the blue hydrangeas. We've got a lot of violets. I feel like violets down here might be a pretty good little mix. Um, but otherwise, I'm actually feeling like the plant quota in here is pretty good. Pretty good. Like, we're getting a lot of color in here now. And maybe we want a little bit less color. Uh, like, to keep to the, the strict greens. All right, there we go. There we go. So let's put down a bunch of leaf piles. Because I think we're going to want a whole bunch of leaf piles all over the place for our deer. To keep them happy. And just give kind of like a nice ground cover. I wish we had more clover patches. Because I feel like clover patches are just perfect in here. Um, some there. More leaf piles over here. Oh, I'm all out of leaf piles. Uh, anything else? More kneeling angelica in the back. Maybe some scarlet nymphsias. In the end, I, I think we're okay on, like, all the excess color. Oh, you know what I did see, though? Oh, do I not have any shears? I think I didn't make any replacement shears. Oh, I don't think I made any replacement shears. I didn't. Oh, okay. Well, we'll have to wait on that. But let's pop out and kind of view the exhibit from the outside at a few angles. And actually, I think this is really good. There's lots of mushrooms. There's lots of plants. I definitely think we could add in um, several more of those bushes, which there's actually a bunch growing right up there. Uh, maybe some more of just the normal grasses and the ground covers, like the clovers and the leaf piles. Yeah, definitely more clovers and leaf piles in a few places. Oh, here we go. I just walked right off the exhibit edge. But otherwise, I like it. I think it's good for the deer. Plenty of food. It's got what they need. Plenty of food. I know! Hi, ladies! Oh, I hope you, they're enjoying the cake. Um, and then let's see. I'm gonna put the little, the little birdhouses. Oh, they're so cute. I'm gonna go ahead and come on down here. And I'm gonna add a little birdhouse right here. And maybe another one right there. So we're encouraging lots and lots of birds to come. Hello, sunflower! I wish I had some shears, but I am out of shears. So I'm going to call the deer exhibit done, except for the fact that now we need to add in the white-tailed deer. Oh, I'm so excited. And you guys have already started coming up with so many amazing names. Oh my gosh. Like Blossom has been repeatedly suggested. Bambi, of course. If we have a male deer, we can name it Bambi. Um, let's go ahead and get the deer ready for release. So that's going to be pretty fun. All right. And then let's just start letting them out. What do we have? Oh, it's a baby! There's a little baby fawn! Oh, there's two little baby fawns! Oh, it's twins! It's twins! And actually, you guys, when I was learning about the white-tailed deer recently... Hang on, little fawn. There you go. When I was learning about these guys recently, I learned 
that they actually, um, oh my goodness, there you go, mama, that twins are actually pretty common among white-tailed deer, but they will hide their babies in different places every time. So they'll put one baby in one area and one baby in the other area most of the time, I should say. I don't know about every time. But it makes it so that if the fawns are discovered, hi, beautiful. Oh my gosh, Mars, presence of deer. So many deer. Oh, there's a buck! We have Bambi, you guys! We've got a Bambi! That's fantastic! Oh, and there's another fawn! Okay, do we have a mama? Yeah, we've got a mama to go with it. <gasps> you guys! There's deer in the deer exhibit! And they look amazing! Look at them! Oh, mom and babies! Mom and babies! Look at them! And they're showing us their white tails that they're named after. Because they're like, nope, you're not going to look at us, human. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at this. Look at this and look at all the babies. <gasps> this is fantastic. Okay, I'll get away from you ladies. They're giving me their warning calls. Oh my goodness. Look at all of them. Oh, I can't wait to name them. This is going to be so much fun. All right. Oh, and Darling is right. I really do need to hire some more staff because this is even more of our zoo to look after now. And I'm just one person. So I'm probably going to have to go back through our old records for our zookeepers from the old world and start bringing people back over. Uh, and you know, like they could hang out over here at our outpost. I probably, I mean, if we had Wolf Lodge, we could have like an employee section to Wolf Lodge so that they would have somewhere to stay. Um, Cause that is kind of the thing. The thing is we live kind of out in the middle of nowhere. So if people started moving here the way that we already have some keepers living here. Bluebelt, where the heck are you going? She and Devon are just moving around now. That's exciting. Uh, but yeah, if we started having some people come and help us out to take care of the zoo, we would definitely, definitely need to make sure that we could get uh, places for them to stay. So, and I'm pretty sure the deer will be a little bit quieter once they start calming down, so I'm not too worried. They just need to relax, enjoy their new home. Oh, this is so exciting. And that's probably going to give Redwood and his family lots and lots of... Yeah, look at him. He's like, what do I smell? I smell something new. It's some deer. But you can't eat them, okay, Redwood? I should probably uh, maybe put a little bit more of a fence right here so that you don't eat them. I'll work on that. I'll work on that. But all right, you guys. I'm going to go tell Darling that I am ready to go back up home for dinner. And actually, that dinner is today, Darling, because it's another side quest day. We're going to be having the Zoo Kitchen side quest. So I will see you guys back up there shortly. And I'm gonna go grab Bluebell because I have no idea. Bluebell, where the heck are you going? Oh, she's on strike because I don't have enough sugar. I'm sorry, Bluebell. Okay, and I'm gonna go get more Bluebell more sugar so that she won't go on strike and wander away. Devin's so worried about her. But alright, guys, I will see you all later. And we'll have so much fun. Primrose, do you have a little bit? Oh, dear. I'm gonna lose both the girls. Okay, time to get them more sugar. Alright, everybody. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.